In case you've been living under a rock, DLSS has come to Tarka, and it's fantastic! Hello everyone, this is CZTL, and welcome to another Escape from Tarka video about DLSS. Enjoy! For those of you who don't know what DLSS is, or don't understand it, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. DLSS will render your frames at a lower resolution. If you were to just scale that up to your normal resolution, it would look something like this. Instead of pixelating the frames, NVIDIA uses non-core parts of your GPU to fill in the missing pieces when it resizes the image to your monitor using AI and machine learning. This does require specialized hardware, so you do need those tensor cores that are in RTX cards. Additionally, in Tarkov, you need to play in a resolution above 1080p, so 1440 or 4K are the typical ones. 1080p or below, you probably won't see much of a performance gain, but I do recommend trying it out if you're struggling with performance. So before we go into performance, let me talk about my system specs. I have 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM at 56 megahertz, I believe, a GeForce RTX Founders Edition 3080, a terabyte M2 NVMe SSD Gen 4, and an Intel 12th Gen i9. So I don't really have a problem running the game but I can still benefit from DLSS, and I'll explain why. In offline raid mode with bots, I got very consistent results, but between two categories of maps, indoor and outdoor. Indoor maps seem to be a little bit better optimized, and I believe run faster on multiple threads or something. My graphics card would try to use all the available resources on those maps. On balance, my graphics card was trying to pull 290 watts of power, was running at 76 degrees Celsius with a hotspot at 86 degrees Celsius and my hotspot's always 10 degrees hotter. With DLSS off my frames dropped 7 to 10 FPS but I was using about 25 more watts so about 315 and my hotspot went to roughly 90 degrees Celsius with a core temp of 80 degrees Celsius so that's at the limit of where I like to run it. With performance on my frames seem to be jumping around a little bit more but I was only pulling around 267 watts to my graphics card and my hotspot went down about 4 degrees as well as my core temps. There's really no performance gain on indoor maps. Quality didn't really do anything to my FPS. I was running at around 300 watts and my core temps were I think 77 and 87 degrees celsius so not much of an improvement. On outdoor maps I was actually getting a reasonable FPS that I could actually use. With DLSS balance, I was getting roughly 120 frames per second. My GPU was at 50-ish percent utilization with balanced and about 25% CPU utilization. I was using around 250 watts with temps at 74 and 84 degrees Celsius. I turned DLSS off and I got the results that I expected. Since I was at very low utilization before, my FPS didn't go down at all. However, my GPU was running at 90% utilization and my temps went up to around 89 degrees Celsius and 79 degrees Celsius. My GPU was also using 65 more watts at 315. And with performance, my FPS again did not change. It did go higher to around 133, but it also went lower to 104. Here I was at 42% GPU usage, running 237 watts, with core temps around 71 and 81. Last was quality, with really no change to the FPS that I was getting before. My graphics card went to around 60% utilization using 280 watts, and my temps went up to around 74 and 84 degrees Celsius. For the most part, I thought the picture quality of balance and quality were on par with not having DLSS for most things. I wouldn't notice it in RAID. Performance looked pretty bad. Look at the water quality here. I would only use performance if you're really struggling. Besides that, I really think it's a good idea if you're running hot on your GPU to use DLSS. The pros of having lower temperature and using less power outweigh the slight cons. And let's be honest, while you're not playing Tarkov, you're probably running your GPU hot anyway, mining Ethereum, so you might as well give it a break playing Tarkov. I tested almost all possible combinations of settings that I could think of in game and I didn't find anything that dramatically helped or hindered the quality of DLSS. If you're running on 1080p, 
or any other resolution really if you want better quality, you can try to enable this other technology called DLDSR, which is essentially the reverse of DLSS. It allows you to render your game at a higher resolution than uses AI to render it down. This is similar to an older technology called DSR, which rendered the frames at a higher resolution, but uses a simple bicubic filter to scale it back to your native resolution. The main difference between DLDSR and DSR is the deep learning part, so the DL. This makes something scaled up to 2.5 times look at just as good as something scaled up to four times of DSR. This technology uses the same tensor cores that are used in DLSS, so you can only use it with an RTX card. So in essence, it's the opposite of DLSS. Here's an example screenshot taken at 1080p. Compare this to the 5K resolution taken with DSR. The results when using DSR without anti-aliasing are pretty striking. To me, the 5K image looks worse than the 1080p, but DLDSR claims to fix this, although you can't take a screenshot in Tarkov with the higher resolution. What this does give you is a way to render at higher than 1080p if you only have that monitor, and hopefully get the advantages of using DLSS. To enable DLDSR, go into your desktop and then go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Click Manage 3D Settings at the top, scroll down to DSR Factors, and enable the ones that you want. I would choose the DL ones. Next, open up your game, open up Settings, go to Graphics, and select a higher resolution than you currently have. You've now enabled DLDSR. So yes, you can use DLSS with DLDSR. What happens is first the game is rendered at a lower resolution and then it is upscaled to the higher resolution with the AI and then rendered back down to the resolution that your monitor was at using AI again. Now let's review DLDSR and DLSS combined. Using DLDSR on woods at 4K, I'm getting about 70 FPS with GPU utilization at 98%. GPU temp is about 75 degrees Celsius and I'm pulling 315 watts. With balanced, temperatures, utilization, and power all are pretty similar, but my FPS has almost doubled. Notice my render latency has gone down by almost two thirds. I'm not gonna bother showing the others because the results are pretty consistent with everything else. So my frame rate seems to be almost the same as it was without DLSS, but the quality is much better with DLDSR. So if you're running 1080, I definitely recommend trying this if you are not able to get any extra frames with DLSS. And let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like out of that shit button. Consider subscribing for more Tarkov content in the future. And I will see you on the battlefield. CCTL out.